Hey everybody, it's Kenneth over here at Veteran Garage Door TV. Today I'm going to show you how to measure a spring. Hey everybody, so first we're going to talk about what you're going to need to measure your spring. You're going to need measuring tape, pen and a paper, the spring itself, and a calculator. Alright, so there's three things we're going to measure to find the full size of the spring. So right now we're going to start with the first, we're going to start with the inside diameter. Alright, that's going to show two inches exactly. All right, so the very next thing we're going to check is the full length of the spring. So what we're going to do is take our two pieces, our two broken pieces, and put them together as best we can. Now we're going to measure the length of this spring right here. All right, right from coil to the end coil. It looks like we're at almost exactly 29 inches. All right, so the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to check the size of the coil on the spring itself. So we're going to kind of move this aside here. Now we're need, going to need to count 20 coils. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's coming out to 5 inches exactly. All right, so here's how we're going to calculate that wire size. Now, 20 coils was 5 inches. So we're going to put 5 in the calculator here. All right, we're going to divide it by the 20 coils that we counted. That's going to come out to 0 0.250. So that's your wire size. Okay, so lastly, we're going to put all of those components together. So we're going to start by our wire size, all right? So we had a 250 wire size, all right? Now that has a 2-inch inside diameter, all right? And it was 29 inches in length, all right? So that's going to come out to 0 0.250 by 2 by 29 inches. All right, now right here we have your end bearing. When your spring breaks, more than likely you'll need a new end bearing, as these only last 10,000 cycles. All right, so this one right here, it's got some issues. It's a little older, so it's been on the door for, the, for a long time. It moves very slowly, very choppy, so it's not a good solid movement, and that's going to cause issues for your spring system. All right, so right here we have a brand new end bearing, and I'm going to show you how smoothly it runs. This right here will have another 10,000 cycles on your garage door. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to Veteran Garage Door TV. We'll catch you next time.